Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about perfumes that I find to be my most girly scents. Um, this is going to be part two of my feminine scent series. And the reason I say that, not because I have a lot of perfumes that are marketed as feminine. I only have a few that are marketed as unisex. But um, when I say feminine, scents that make me feel most feminine, this is going to be the girly slash bimbo section. Because I was thinking about it, there's a lot of scents that make me feel super feminine and like in my like feminine energy, but some are more light feminine energy like bouncy, light, unencumbered, girly, almost adolescent even, like when you're a little girl and like, you know, hopefully not thinking so much. Um, and then there's other ones that are more my dark feminine energy that make me feel like a more complete woman. This is kind of the softer, lighter side of being a woman. And then there's some other ones that I'll share in another video that are just kind of like a more full embodied complex woman you know like and I don't even mean that like to say like an older woman I, I kind of mean it to say like a woman who's lived who's had a lot of life experience and like is wise and there's some depth you know these not to say that there isn't depth to them but they're a lot of them are more easy reaches not all of them but to me these are ones that are easy re these are pretty easy reaches for me with the exception of two maybe um yeah let's talk about them so this is pink sugar Finally, my boyfriend said he doesn't like this one. Um, he was smelling not all of my perfumes, but just the ones that were out. And he liked most of them. But this one he he didn't like, which is weird because I've worn it before and he hasn't said anything. So I don't know if he, he either A, didn't like it and was just being nice and didn't say anything. Or B, it like melded with my hair and my skin chemistry. And he did like it then. So it's one of the two. Um, But this is like sugary syrupy and it is a burnt sugar but there's also a licorice note in this which keeps it interesting I didn't like this at first and now I love it and I honestly do think a little bit of it was due to mask like the scent almost getting nicer with time um there's a debate on that what do scents actually macerate or mature I think yes I think it's kind of like any liquid like can mature like wine can mature too right obviously that's like through fermentation and things but I think with air and time because <laughs> uh, when you spray it I believe I don't know I just think something happens um this is very pretty on me and it, it's become less just sugary it is still sh really sugary but I get on when it melts with my skin chemistry and things I get like all the baked goods at the fair all the fried food at the fair like there's a funnel cake aspect to this and it's just so girly. I mean, it's pink sugar. Come on, pink, pink sugar. And this by far <laughs> out of all of these is like the most juvenile, straightforward, um, lighthearted, girly scent. Pink sugar. Come on, come on. But I do think any, any age can wear this. Okay. Let's go Britney Spears here. This is Britney Spears Believe. And this one's interesting because I have kind of a complex relationship with it and I haven't even had it that long. The reason I say that is because when I first sprayed it, I didn't really like it because all I smelled was tangerine. There's like a tangerine note in this in the beginning. And I don't know if that spraying it a few times and letting it sit helped or what, but the tangerine, the first burst was really like sort of like harsh to me, like very harsh. And I was like, I thought this was supposed to be guava and patchouli, not tangerine and patchouli. Um, so at first I was like not crazy about it. And then for a while, all I could smell was the patchouli. And then for a while, I, which is actually kind of how I experience it now. It became more bubblegummy to me. And that's kind of why this is girly to me because it's fruity and bubblegummy. For a while, the patchouli was all I could smell and it smelled like a really designer patchouli. Like it's not a dirty patchouli to my nose. It just smelled like a sort of like flower bomb patchouli or like, like a, I guess Olivia Bell patchouli, like a Jimmy Choo patchouli. Like the patchouli that's in designer sense that is like in the deep dry down of designer sense, you know. But then finally one day at work, I was kind of sniffing myself to see if I could detect it. And I breathed in, I breathed out through my nose. And I don't know if it was the warmth 
of my out breath or what. But then when I inhaled again, I finally caught the guava and it was the most delicate, soft, pretty bubblegummy little concoction. And um, to me, it's a very feminine scent. Different noses perceive this differently though. Like some people only get the patchouli. Some people don't get the patchouli at all. So um, I don't know. But it's also a Britney Spears scent. Like Britney Spears scents, there's another one in this video that is probably, is, is the real like true inspiration behind this video. Um, but yeah, this just feels quite girly to me. And my theory is that this will wear nicer in the summer because I don't know if it was the warmth of my out breath or if I'm like making that up that then warmed it up and I smelled a lot of the guava. But I just feel like this would be nice in hot weather. I don't have any proof to back it up, but that's my, that's my theory on this. Um, but it does feel quite girly to me and just like free and light and not too serious. There's nothing really serious about it. I guess you could say the patchouli, but it, it doesn't feel serious to me at all. Okay. Roberto Cavalli, Paradiso Assoluto. This is a juicy scent, a fruity scent, um, but also a powdery scent. Um, and it's, it's a very perfumey perfume. Yeah, this is definitely a perfumey perfume. Um, good lasting power on this for being a fruity perfume. I get quite good lasting power. Like I've sprayed this and then still smelled it on me at the end of the day at work. Granted, I do overspray all my perfumes, but yeah, for a fruity scent, not bad. Um, and it's like very juicy, like I said. And I think the reason I perceive this as so girly and romantic is because the person who put me on this is like my favorite perfume YouTuber, Smelly Bee. And she did a whole video on like perfumes and timelines of love. And this was like her second one, second stage of love. Like the first one was like, when you're like, ooh, I might like this person. Like, and then you have like kind of all those like butterflies and you're like a little anxious, but like still excited. And then this was the one where you're like, okay, you're locked down. You're um, in the relationship. It's the beginning. It's kind of those honeymoon stages. It's super romantic. Like you're still always excited to see them. And I do get that. And that might be also because my boyfriend really likes this scent. Um, I think he likes this scent. My boyfriend's Colombian. And there is a dessert in Colombia called Postre de Maracuya. And Maracuya is passion fruit. Um, and there's a lot of passion fruit in this in the opening. So it's a unique fruity scent. In that sense, I don't see a whole lot of passion fruit. I see passion flower and things, but not a whole lot of passion fruit. But it's also powdery. Um... And that feels quite girly to me. The note that I think gives it the powderiness is the wisteria, which is, I don't have wisteria in any of my other perfumes in my collection. And I think it's the wisteria because I've actually smelled wisteria in real life. And there were so many blossoms on it because it was like peak of spring. This was back in California when I went to the Huntington Garden and Library. I think there was purple wisterias and white wisterias. Um, I don't think they can actually take wisteria like as a raw ingredient and put it into perfume. I think it has to be a fantasy note because I don't think the actual like I don't think you can gather enough flowers to like make it. But from what I remember in person, it was just this like really pretty purple powdery scent. And this feels um, I detect a lot of powderiness in this. There's other florals, but to me it's it's powdery, not in an iris way, but it it's powdery. And I think it's coming from that wisteria note. So it's quite unique um, and girly and romantic to me. It's not it's not complex yet. And it's not that stage of love yet where, where things are complex and you're really, really blending. It's like that. It's past the excitement and the anxiety and the maybes. It's the we're, we're, we're going for it, but like it's exciting and it's light and it's, you know, dreamy and all of that. So, yeah, there's that one. And also, it's also my first Roberto Cavalli scent. I'm interested in maybe trying the the Roberto Cavalli, Roberto Cavalli as well. But yeah, I don't think I'll repurchase this when I'm done with it. Um, I really, really liked it in the beginning. And I think I'll have fun using this bottle, but I don't see myself repurchasing it. I, I do see myself repurchasing Pink Sugar for a long time. Same thing with the Britney Spears. I don't think I'll, I'll repurchase this one. But I, I think I'll enjoy my time using it, especially this summer. I want to really, really want to use it this summer. When, it, when we get some warmer weather. Although I'm in the Pacific Northwest now, so do we really get warm weather during summer? Mm. The part of the part where I am, we get hot summers from my understanding, but I also don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm hoping to be elsewhere in the PNW. 
by the time uh, summer rolls around. So we'll see. Long rant, not related. <laughs> I do that a lot. You guys know that. Um, <clears throat> what's next? I guess this one's a little complex in the sense that to me it's girly. But there are some other notes in this that aren't like that can be considered complex. Like there's a rum note in this. Um, but what I really get heavily is the marshmallow and the cotton candy from this and the whipped cream. Yes, there's pistachio in this. But I've always said that there seems to be like a greenness to this. I want to say there's like peach in the notes. So it's fruity too. But there's a real sort of greenness to this to my nose it's fruity and green um but heavy on the marshmallow and just sugary sugary I think there might even be like oud in this because there's something else deeper to this but it still feels even though it's quite complex and there's like a floralness to this too as well there's floral notes in here um even with all that going on it feels quite girly to me. It's ultra sweet. It's ultra sweet in the same way pink sugar is. Um, these two remind me a lot of each other. Very different scents, but very like, even though there's marshmallow and there's a powderiness to this and a soft lushness to it, it's also still syrupy and erythritol. Much in the way um, a lot of these, like this one is also syrupy and just sugary and erythritol but it's good it's good <laughs> I don't think I'll repurchase this bottle when I'm done I, I love the um I love 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 this bottle design the sort of matte like turquoise um green pistachio I don't know it's just I love the matteness and the color of it I don't think I'll repurchase it when I'm done but it's fun and I'm enjoying using it yeah and it makes me feel quite girly. Um, okay, what's next? Another one I won't repurchase, but feels quite girly and is such such an easy reach. Get compliments on this at work um, for my friends. I call it one of my stereotypical brunch scents. Irresistible Rose Velvet by Givenchy. Um, this is a juicy rose. It's a sweet rose. Um, it's a fruity rose. You know how roses can be fruity as well. There's black currant notes in this as well, so that could also be why I'm getting fruity, but this is a fruity rose. And it's a fruity rose that sits atop a base of like, there's patchouli in this, but there's also woods in this. It says, I think it's like patchouli and white woods, whatever that means. But it's a, it's a fruity musky rose it's a fruity musky rose. <laughs> it's a fruity musky rose. It's a little juicy. Um, but it's like, it's so easy. It's almost boring. That's probably why I won't repurchase it. And it's so like typical, but it's soft and it's pretty. It's soft and it's pretty and it's ultra feminine. This is definitely one of the other scents. Like I shared other scents in here with you guys, but like these four were the core inspiration for girly bimbo scents. Um, so yeah, this one just makes me feel ultra girly and, and soft and feminine and easy. I don't have to think about it, you know? Okay. One that is to me still bimbo-y um, and girly and sweet, but a little different in the sense that I do think about it when I wear it is Angel because Angel has this deep chocolatey patchouli and it has some spices and it's way more than just um, fruit and, and florals and sweetness and erythrit erythritol. Although it is erythritol and sweet, it has patchouli and it has spiciness and a whole lot of other things, a whole lot of other notes going on and it's polarizing. However, it's not in my like mature, not mature. It's not in my like complex womanly sense because there's something still very bimbo about this to me. Anyone can wear this, but like to me, the erythritol and the sweetness and just, I think also the time that it came out in, it came out in the nineties, but I remember going to the like Macy's with my mom and I would always see the angel bottles and I was so fascinated. I didn't even smell it as a kid. I just remember being fascinated by the bottles 
and the color and the blue star and just always wondered what it was. And the area I grew up in was like Y2K, McBling, like that era. So I think I'll always have that bimbo Paris hilton -y association with it. And I love it. I love my little angel. I do. This is the vintage one, guys. I, I really love the vintage one. I haven't yet um, smelled the new angel. I should do that, but I haven't. <sighs> um, but I do love my vintage and I could totally see myself buying another bottle of that. Okay, two of the biggest inspirations for this video. This one is Girly Bimbo White Florals. So if you like, okay, if you're on the fence about white florals, like let's say you don't hate them, but you maybe go for sweeter, more gourmand scents, then I think you really like, would like this because this is white florals in a very girlish way, in a very, very girly way. White florals are something that I think a lot of people can associate with a more mature taste or profile um, for whatever reason. Um, but this is white florals in a very girly way, in a very young, youthful way, um, very light and unencumbered. And like I said, I think if you like sweeter scents and you're on the fence about exploring white florals, A, this is about 35 bucks for a 3.3 fluid ounce. The bottle is so fucking cute to me has that total Y2K bimbo aesthetic. Um, but, well, it has those white florals, right? It has this soapy hyacinth in the opening that's green. But the reason I say if you like sweeter scents, you might like this, is it's a sweet white floral to me, but not a syrupy white floral. It's a sweet white floral. And it has a hint, the hint of this juicy couture DNA. You know, that sort of caramelliness or whatever you want to call it. It has a hint of that. And I want to say it has a note of like creme brulee or something that gives it that. So there's a hint of sweetness with this, these beautiful white florals. Um, and then this muskiness, this perfumey musk. This is a perfumey perfume. And I just love this. It makes me feel so girly, so feminine. This is like one of the scent that I love to wear in like a sundress um, or in just a really girly outfit. Um, Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Loves it. This is one I will, that will probably always be in my collection. These two for sure. And now this one, which wasn't one that I plan to always be in my collection, but I am pretty sure could be for a long time now. This is Intimate Fantasy by Britney Spears. And I've only grown to love this one more as I've had time with it. It is, I only have a little bit left. I used to have so much left. I've been rationing this because of it. This is, first of all, the bottle is super cute and girly. This white bottle with little pink rhinestones. Are you kidding? And this is Intimate Fantasy. So fantasy is obviously super girly as well. But this is like a softer, more coquette version of, of like fantasy. Um, the original fantasy is girly, but like it's super strong. It's a strong perfume in my opinion. Like it lasts a really long time. And that's good. Like if you're looking for a sweet, girly, gourmand scent that lasts a long time and you don't want to spend a lot of money, the original Fantasy is great for that. But this is the most wearable, this is the more wearable version of that to me and one that I love and I crave. I crave this when I come home from work and want something comforting and sweet. Um, but I also wear this to work. Like I have a, a one layering combo I love. I love layering these two. I get tons of compliments. Oh my God, you know what scent I totally forgot? Guys, oh my God. Wait, we have to talk about another girly bimbo scent. Hold on. Be right back. Be right back, guys. Bear with me. Hold on. Hold on, guys. This is important. This is totally another girly bimbo scent that I forgot. And the reason why it sparked my memory is because I'll layer these two, I'll layer these two. We'll finish with Intimate Fantasy. But let's talk really quickly about Sophia by Sofia Vergara. This is one that I don't know if I'll rush to repurchase right away. I probably should if I want to try it again because it's discontinued. But um, this is by far one of the most pretty fruit chulies in my collection. It's pretty much this. This and um, and Fenty by Rihanna 
are probably my favorite fruit chilies in my collection. This is plum, like a syrupy plum, a sugary plum with some florals. But like it's to me, it's like a juicy fruit and patchouli. Like there's a lot of patchouli in this and it's that pretty designer patchouli, the same one that's in this one, but almost like more amped up. Like this is more patchouli. Well, no, they're both patchouli, but this is a more juicier, like um, this is bubble gummy and juicy, but this is like syrupy, juicy plum. Oh, this gets compared to Coco Mademoiselle. I'm not really sure. I've smelled Coco Mademoiselle, but I don't remember it distinctively. But anyways, this is totally another like girly, ultra feminine, like bimbo perfume. And Sofia Vergara is a bimbo. Are you kidding? Like, duh, duh. How could I forget this? Um, but the reason this sparked something in me is because I've worn these together and get a ton of compliments. And I was saying I wear this to work. I layered these. I layered these and get a ton of compliments. Um, so this is weird because I, I crave this when I get home from work. I wear it to work. It's just soft and pretty. And so what's going on in here? The notes are interesting and that's kind of why I bought this. There's a lemon note in the top. There's ozonic notes. There's a brown sugar note. There's a Jeanette note, which Jeanette is a like animalic musk scent. Um, I think there's patchouli in this. Um, and then there's obviously like the cup, the like fantasy DNA. There's a lot of the fantasy DNA in this, even though it's not listed in the notes, like the cupcake-ness to this. And it makes it really, wait guys, let's thumbnail. Thumbnail. How about, uh, wait, how can I do this cuter? How about this? Did I get it? <laughs> Sorry guys, but it's super girly. Like the, the, the fantasy DNA is still in here. It's just prettier and less harsh and less synthetic. It smells synthetic, don't get me wrong, and it's still really sugary. But I don't know if it's my subconscious being tricked with the animalic musk note in here, which I don't pick up on greatly, but like there's something more like lighter and meldable with your skin, with your natural chemistry about this to me. So, but it's still super girly and super feminine and just like cute, you know? So, yeah, these, I would say out of all the ones in the video, these are the ones that like represent <laughs> the bimbo vibe the most, like girly bimbo perfumes. But the other ones I mentioned are still quite girly. This is super bimbo. And the, the other ones I mentioned, I consider Angel super bimbo. Um, I consider these other ones still super girly, but, um, and like light girly, but these are probably the ones that represent it the best. Yeah, and these three particularly are ones that I see myself having in my collection for a long time. I'll probably, I'm probably gonna repurchase this guys, which I originally didn't see myself repurchasing this, but I've only liked this more the more I've worn it. And um, yeah, okay, that's the video. Did you guys like it? Did you feel girly? Did you feel light? <laughs> um, I'm going to do, like I said, a, uh, counter to this video which is more like dark feminine perfumes like more embodied full com complex sense but that's made me feel sexy like a woman you know I'm not necessarily gonna just call it sexy sense because there's other ones in there that are gonna be very womanly but not necessarily sexy but like you get what I'm saying so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if there's any um videos you guys want to see perfume related um let me know also, if you're a subby who still watches this, but like doesn't really like perfume or like perfume stuff, if you're more of my spiritual girls, let me know what you want to see. I haven't been posting a lot of spiritual content lately. I tried to film one about submission as a content, like a content, uh, no, submission as a theme in relationships that I think is really important, but I filmed it in 4K and then it wouldn't upload because like my, I guess my Wi-Fi speed wasn't like fast enough it was uploading for like two days and then it stopped uploading so but um yeah I do want to make more spiritual videos I just haven't really been on that wavelength if there's any spiritual videos or astrology videos you guys want to see let me know um but as always thank you mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching I appreciate you and um yeah thanks for letting me have fun we'll talk soon okay bye